guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about timeless classic luxury. I'm sharing some new and pieces that I got in my wardrobe. It's a mix of everything. I have some clothing pieces in here. I have a bag, an SLG, and these are all very much along the theme of really just a timeless luxury that I'll hopefully have in my wardrobe for many years to come. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. So first up, I have a couple of jackets and I have been really, really loving the whole boxy jacket trend. I think it's so chic and elegant and in terms of timeless style, I don't feel like you get any more classic than this. I just love it. Like it's such an easy way to update your look and make any outfit look so much more ladylike and elegant and I just love it. Um, so the first one I have is this beautiful black and white trim blazer. This one is a cropped one and you have these beautiful buttons on here. So you have a pearl in the center with this little crystal detail all the way around. It only adds a hint of sparkle though. So it's not too much. It's not too flashy. And the cut of this is just so, so lovely. It's fully lined and it is the most gorgeous fit. The uh, fabric is kind of like a boucle, but it's not an overly bobbly boucle. So I feel like it's going to wear very, very well. It's quite a subtle tweed effect, I feel. Um, and then you do have the two pockets right there on the front, which are actual pockets as well, rather than just fashion pockets. And I thought this was so chic and elegant. I absolutely love it. And what I love about the new way of wearing these jackets is that you can go, you know, full on just ladylike glamour with a nice pencil skirt. But you can also wear these with, you know, a pair of jeans. You do leggings and really make them feel super fresh and modern as well. The styling opportunities are just endless and I just think it's so incredibly lovely. This jacket is from Goelia, who are nice enough to partner with me on this video. I've worked with Goelia before, and if you've not tried their clothing and you really love kind of elegant, super classic pieces, I would highly, highly recommend you do so because their pieces are just stunning, and I feel like they look even more gorgeous in real life. The cuts are absolutely impeccable, and the quality is just so, so nice. They have given me a discount code as well, so you can get 25% off the entire site. I also wanted to mention my striped kind of cardigan jacket. I got that a couple of months ago and it's become such a firm favorite for me. It is the perfect, perfect striped cardigan knit. It's so elegant, very kind of French chic. I love teaming with just some faux leather leggings and a Chanel bag. I love the look. And that one is included in the discount code as well, as well as quite a few other items I'm sharing in today's video. So I will pop all the details for that code as well as all the links for everything I'm sharing in the description section below. Next up is this gorgeous jacket. And this one is a little bit more of a kind of evening wear piece because it does have a sequin detail running all the way through. This one is a smidge big for me. Um, so I am thinking I might exchange it for the next size down, but I will put all of my sizes for reference in the description section because the sizing can be a little bit more usual so I have taken different sizes in different pieces so I will make sure to list all those reference but I absolutely love this it is so so chic so you do have this collarless effect right here and then you have these beautiful gold buttons which are just so so chic and then you have pockets right there at the front on either side and again it's a cropped fit so it's not too long it's not too short though so it isn't like super high up but just a really nice length to wear with well whatever you want as I said I feel like it goes with jeans skirts like you do have quite a few options and I thought this was fantastic you have the gold button detail running on the sleeves as well and it's just so simple and striking and it looks so smart and chic and it's just one of those pieces that you can just add on to your outfit and instantly transform your whole look and I just love it so much for that reason and I loved the look so much that I also got the matching shorts and they do quite a few kind of twin sets and they are so elegant. You don't have to go for the twin set, obviously you can mix and match your heart's content, but I thought these were just as gorgeous as the jacket so I definitely couldn't resist. It also has that kind of tweed like fabric, but it's only on the outside. So the inside is fully lined so it feels very, very silky smooth on your skin. You have that fantastic gold button detail on the pockets there. You do have proper pockets as well, which go quite deep which is nice because they're like really functional but most importantly they do lie flat so you're not going to have any extra bulk around the hips such an important crucial detail and I feel like these shorts just absolutely nail it they just zip up at the side there there isn't really too much stretch but these ones fit perfectly and I just think these are so elegant you do have a slightly wider leg as well so they're nice and flattering because the tighter the short around the leg area in my experience the less flattering they are whereas these just get that completely right 
and I just absolutely love these. It's super cute separately, very cute together. I'm just completely obsessed with this entire line. And speaking of adorable tweed like fabrics, I also saw this mini skirt which it's just the cutest, cutest thing and I've got to really, really love a mini skirt now, I feel like, to go for it because it's just not something I have in my constant rotation, but I saw this and I just thought it was way too cute to pass up. I love the fact that it is a pastel tweed kind of effect as well. So you have these, it's like a beige base, but the actual tweed threads running through it are a mix of baby pink, baby blue, you have some darker brown shades and I feel like it all just goes perfectly and it still looks very winter appropriate it just adds a little bit of lightness to your outfit. I feel like so many winter colors can be a little bit dark, so it's really nice to have some softer pastel shades. And I just love this. Again, you have those live flat pockets, which are so, so important for a flattering fit. And it just kind of slips on. You do have a zip up at the side there. And I love this. It's the perfect length as well. It's not too short. I feel like this would be so cute with a pair of boots. You can also just wear it with heels. So classic and elegant. I just think this is the cutest little skirt while also being fairly seasonally appropriate as well. Next up is a gorgeous teddy jacket and I feel like texture is everywhere at the moment, especially as we do head into the colder months more, whether it's boucle or tweed or teddy, like I just love all the different cozy textures. And this one is just so beautiful. So it is a cropped style jacket, but it's done in a slightly more elegant way. So even though it is more of a casual style, it does feel just a little bit more pulled together because of the different design elements. So you do have this beautiful collar right there. And then you have this button detailing and the buttons do feel very, very nice quality. So they do have a hefty amount of weight to them as well. This one is more of a matte kind of brush gold. Really, really lovely and elegant. You have two pockets on either side on the front there. And it is more of a cropped fit the inside is just as cozy as the outside though it has this beautiful kind of it almost feels like a brush suede like it feels absolutely amazing on the skin this is as you imagine crazy crazy warm like really soft and snuggly but I absolutely love the look of it it kind of reminds me almost of clueless vibes a little bit but like updated for 2023 and I am just full on in love with this. Just really, really unusual, but it really does embrace that teddy trend while still doing it in a very elegant, streamlined way. And now for this great little black top. And this one is a very, very fine knit, but what's unusual about it is this beautiful neckline. And I do love my asymmetrical neckline. You might be able to tell from the top that I'm wearing today. Um, but this one is more of a fitted style, but it has this kind of wave scoop effect. It is absolutely beautiful. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe. Um, you do have a short sleeve, um, but it's not super short. I'd say it's almost like kind of not quite mid, um, but almost. It's a bit longer than your traditional short sleeve. And again, it's a very, very fine knit. So it just kind of flows along like it isn't overly clingy, but at the same time, it's not kind of an oversized knit piece. Like it's just the right kind of weight of fabric to be super flattering, very easy to team with different things. You know, you pop it with a skirt or jeans, and I think it would look great both ways. And I just love it. The seam is done really nicely as well. So it lies completely flat. I think this is gonna wash very well because of the seam. Sometimes when you have a raw hem, like things just go very, very wrong in the wash. Whereas this is absolutely beautifully done. And I just thought this was so elegant and lovely. Perfect for teaming with holiday skirts when you want something a bit plain on top, but you do want something with a little bit of added interest. I feel like this neckline just makes such a huge difference. And I think it's such a beautiful detail. And then I have a slightly lighter option for a jacket as well. And how beautiful is this? Like the detailing on it is absolutely stunning. You do have a, another tweed type of fabric, but this one has a subtle shimmer running all the way through, but it is very, very subtle. So totally appropriate for day, like it would work beautifully for evening as well, but it's not so sparkly that it would look out of place for day at all. And then you have this absolutely gorgeous braided detail running across the collar and then also the pockets as well. And it's just absolutely lovely. Um, again, you do have a really lovely accent button. This one is more like a champagne gold, so it's very, very light in terms of the color, which I think goes really nicely with the rest of the color. It's just very pale, a really beautiful kind of, it's like a soft ivory shade with those really lovely kind of almost sparkly oatmeal colored threads running all the way through. Just absolutely gorgeous. This one is a tiny bit longer than the other ones, um, but still more of a crop style. Again, a boxy fit, but not so wide that it's going to be unflattering. Really easy to throw on and just instantly transform your look and make it look so super chic and elegant. Next up is this absolutely stunning cardigan, and this one has a contrast detail running all the way through. So you have these beautiful little details 
details on the shoulder right there, punctuated with a little button. The buttons run all the way through as well, so it's almost like a kind of marble effect with a brush gold accent really beautiful you have it all the way down and also on the pockets as well and then the knit is almost like a brush kind of knit fabric as well really elegant you kind of have this weave effect but it's very very subtle and then you have that fantastic black contrast trim all the way throughout I feel like this is just French elegance in a knitwear piece like it's really beautiful it is kind of cut like a jacket but it is a knitwear piece so perfect for when you know it isn't super cold but you do need a little bit of a cover-up it's just the most elegant thing. I'm fully planning on teaming this with a gorgeous little Chanel bag. I think it just looks so incredibly classic and elegant. And if you can't tell, I just can't get enough of this style. I think it is so beautiful and just such an easy one to wear to instantly look cool together. Next up, I do have a Dior bag. So this is the Dior bag I settled on. If you watched one of my fairly recent videos, I was trying to decide between two different book totes. I couldn't decide between a smaller or medium sized houndstooth one and then also the larger gray print one. So many of you commented, so thank you so much to everyone who gave your opinion. I went with the most commonly expressed opinion, which was to go for option C, which was medium in the gray print, which is what I have here. So I did opt to go for the eco packaging this time um, so I did want to show it to you because it is absolutely stunning eco packaging um, I just didn't have the need for another dual box so I was like you know just go for eco one but it's absolutely stunning so it comes like even the brown box is printed and then you have the kind of protective cardboard flap which says Dior right there here is the bag with the Dior gold dust bag you can see that and inside is the beautiful, beautiful book tote in the medium size with the gray print. I really, I was so stuck as to which one, and honestly, I was very, very close to picking them both, which I really shouldn't do at all. So I was actually very pleased to have everyone suggest this kind of compromise. I did agree. I thought that even though I loved the larger one, I do already have another large one, and I thought the houndstooth one was so elegant, but maybe this might be a little bit more versatile and I think it's just absolutely beautiful um, so it does have the Christian Dior Paris logo right there and then it is the grey and white print all the way throughout this is embroidered as well so you have that beautiful texture running all the way through it carries on to the base there and then you do have that nice wide comfy interior and I'm just so excited about this bag and this size I am going to start using it right away it's just such a beautiful style um so let me know if you would like to see a comparison between this one and the larger size or just a kind of general video on this one I'd be happy to do it um but yeah I'm just over the moon with this I think it is the most stunning stunning thing and then next up I have a SLG and I have been trying to get this for about a month now and when I first saw it it was sold out online and I basically kept stalking it until I saw it got restocked so I am so happy that I got my hands on it because it is absolutely beautiful and um, so it's from Louis Vuitton, it does come with the Louis Vuitton box right there, it has all the invoices and info um, and I did already have a peek because I just couldn't resist but it did come with the ribbon and the tag and everything and inside it is a small SLG and this is in my favourite variety from Louis Vuitton which is their on pot leather which I just don't think it can be beat in terms of SLGs like it's just so fantastic but the colour just absolutely stole my heart. How beautiful is that? Like it is so so lovely so it's a really beautiful lilac colour. This is a little coin purse and I don't think I've ever actually tried one of this kind of style from Louis Vuitton. I have a few different Chanel ones but I've never actually tried a proper coin purse. I have my Vitrine wallet which is my go-to compact wallet. I've had it for a few years now and it's just done unbelievably well so I'm hoping this is going to be similarly robust and I love the fact that you do have quite a few compartments even though it is a very very mini size item so it just opens up with the button closure right there you have a pocket right there at the back and then you have a card holder right there another one on the other side you can pop in notes whatever you want to in the middle compartment and then you also have a little section for coins or whatever else you want to store in there which is securely fastened with a zip as well you have that great little leather tie detail there 
and it's just really adorable and very very functional so I am so happy about this like I fell in love with the colour but I actually feel like it's very practical as well I use these little coin purses all the time for my mini bags I tend to use my Victorine wallet more for kind of going on holiday when I'm going to need a compact wallet for an extended amount of time but for everyday use when I'm switching into a mini bag I will usually go for a little card holder I think this is absolutely perfect and just the prettiest colour and now for a couple of sweaters. I've been on the lookout for a couple of more neutral sweaters to add to my winter wardrobe. And I saw these and I thought they were absolutely perfect. This one is so incredibly soft. I absolutely love it. I already have this one in another color. This is the seam detail one. And I feel like they do bring these back year after year because they just sell so well, but they're just fantastic. Like they're not too expensive. They're not super, super cheap, but I do feel like they're very good value for what they are because it is genuinely one of the softest sweaters I've ever felt. Like it's so nice and it's a really lovely oversized knit piece. So it is wider, but it's not so huge that it looks absolutely ridiculous. You do have a little bit of extra added detail with that seam, but it's nothing too crazy. And I just love it. Um, you do also have this kind of raw seam right there on the sleeve, a nice simple rounded collar and just like exactly what I wanted. I just went for it in the nice ivory color, but these come in so many different shades. It's just a really, really lovely basic to rely on when it does get a little bit colder. And I also went for this beautiful sweater in this kind of oatmeal slash camel color. Um, it's really, really lovely. So this one is, again, a little bit oversized, but not too much. It's just a really nice, comfy fit. Not too long, not too short. Um, again, a very simple, nice collar. This one actually has a beautiful crisscross design all the way throughout, but it's kind of knitted into the overall design. So it's not too bobbly. It's not going to catch on anything. It's just really subtle, just makes a slight difference in terms of the overall look, but still very, very classic and easy to wear. And exactly the kind of shade that I wanted. Again, very soft and snuggly and very, very warm. And for the price, again, it wasn't super cheap, but for the quality, it feels like very, very nice value. As always, I will make sure to link everything in the description section below if you wanted to check anything out. I will also make sure to include that discount code if you did want to check out any of the items from Goelia. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.